Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I asked you guys on my community tab, I gave you three options of what you wanted to see next, whether it was a full face of Revlon products, uh, Sephora products, or I can't remember what the third choice was, but, uh, oh, uh, Lancome products. So um, I'm still gonna do the other ones, but uh, the the uh, Revlon face one so that's what I'm going to be doing today a full face of Revlon and I'm also going to, going to be using some new brushes from Sydney Grace um, she released these a couple of weeks ago and when she released them they were like 30% off at the time of the release so I love Sydney Grace I wanted to try them they're clean but I have not tried them yet so this is the first time I'm going to be uh, using them I have the set of the um, face brushes. There was two sets. And really they were pretty reasonably priced. So this is the face and this these are the eyes. And I think I have absolutely every one that I could want. The um, This reminds me of like, a, I mean it's wood and it's beautiful because it's not like a solid color. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But it almost reminds me of the outside of a cigar so it looks i think i like them and then the barrel is um i don't think it's rose gold i think it's gold but it's not a flashing gold it's a very classy gold so i'm gonna see i'm gonna put them to the test today and this monday the 25th which i think is when this video will be going up i'm filming before but it's when this video i'm planning on bringing it up putting it up there starting their Christmas in December sale so um no no Christmas is always in December Christmas in July sale I'm gonna list their link below and I do have a code with them but the code does not work during this sale so um unless you buy some I, I guess if you buy something that's not on sale it may work I'll show you have the code also but don't expect it to work you can try it but it normally does not work I know they have a new palette and that it is uh, from the 25th through August 1st and I think that every day they have like a new special so you may want to look to see which day you think would be the best one for you to shop on so I'm going to try to stay away I love sending grace but I have a lot of stuff from them so unless I know they have a new palette and it is a neutral palette but I'm going to try to stay away okay so I'm going to start with the primer and this primer to tell you the truth, Revlon to me is a brand that is a little underrated, uh, including by myself. Um, I don't have, own too many products. Now I do because I bought enough to do a full face. But mainly, um, I think they're better known for their um, lipsticks. I love their lipsticks. I do own a lot of their lipsticks. And uh, it's a brand that when I first started using makeup, it was pretty much CoverGirl, um, Maybelline, or um revlon right and revlon was like i would say like the milani of today is more i felt in my opinion that revlon was like a step uh you know ahead of of maybelline and a little bit of quality as far as lipstick and sun stuff but i always always have loved their lipsticks cherry in the snow i mean there's some some lipsticks that go way back right and then they do come up with new products new uh, formulas for lipsticks i do love every one of them that i have tried a lot of them are very similar to my lancome lipsticks even the packaging but as far as makeup i really can't say that i've been impressed with too many other makeup products so i kind of stopped purchasing them now, uh, they, did, they did come out with some new um, eye quads, and those are pretty good. I've tried, I have two of them, and I wore one. I was really impressed on the formula, and uh, some of you guys told me that that formula was really nice. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Okay, so the primer that I used is the Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing, and it says Makeup and skincare Primer. It has complex infused with vitamin b5 and hyaluronic acid okay now everything has hyaluronic acid that is like the ingredient the it ingredient now and they put it in everything which is fine you're supposed to plump your skin but when you look at the ingredients on um, these little inexpensive makeup and some of the expensive ones usually the hyaluronic acid is way at the bottom and um 
you know, so there's very little of it. But that's okay. Anything that you get is, is fine. So I do like this as far as um, minimizing the pores. And it sinks into your skin pretty quickly. But you can kind of feel a little bit of the tackiness. So I do uh, love that. Okay, I also have an eye primer that I'm going to put it on now. And this is new. This is the Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to um, put some on right now. And it's like skin color, you know, kind of like a beigey color. So I've never used it before, so I don't know what kind of... Let me see, where's my mirror so I can see. I was... Uh, I went to the doctor, um, the doctor that does all those back procedures on me. I went um, yesterday, and um, I actually, the day before, is when I started feeling some relief. I am not pain-free, by all means, but I would say I feel 70% better. Um, I mean, I've been trying to do a few more things around the house that I've been unable to do. Uh, like putting away makeup, organizing makeup, um, you know, putting away some clothes. I mean, I just haven't been able to do much of anything. When your back is killing you, and my husband has so much on his hands because it's like he's been dealing with two people that are out for the count. Okay, so the, the um, I'm going to use the uh, Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours and in the color 150 Buff Kami. No, I don't know how to say that. But I forgot how to say it. Anyways, 150. It's combination oily skin. I really don't have oily skin. But in the summer, I do get like a little oily. And this horrible heat that we're all going through. So it is a little light. Um, I picked it online. So most of the stuff I found actually on Amazon. So um, yeah, it's kind of light. So I'm going to use... This brush for foundation, I think it's the only one that is really the most appropriate for it. And yeah, it's kind of light. But after everything is put to... Look what I just did. I have... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I guess the foundation is a little watery. On my clean shirt brand new clean shirt oh, oh, oh all right well when i finish that i go to uh, put on my wig i will change my shirt i can't believe i did that oh you can't see it so we're good but yeah i, j I just did that so i think i'm going to put it on the back of my hand and kind of dot my face how's that so it does look a little light oh i already have some there yeah that's how, the, how all this happened right and um i would say this is a medium coverage foundation you can build it up i liked it when i wore it um it did kind of last all day and um i was happy with it the only thing is like i said my the shade that i chose is way way too light but it's hard sometimes some some brands i don't have a problem with you know if they tell you is light neutral or light medium neutral and then you can see the swatches you can pretty much tell but sometimes when they have like names it's kind of hard for me to judge and i usually wear on some brands i can go with a light neutral and some is a medium light medium neutral and i do have a neutral and undertone but even some neutral sometimes they're a little too yellow this seemed to work for my skin. So anyway, I went to this doctor, and like I said, I was I'm feeling like 70% better. I really can. I can walk without my walker. I can't tell you that I'm I can I'll be able to walk around the block. Um, I think that will be pushing it a little. And I'm trying not to push it too much. I'm trying to do a little more. I'm gonna try to build it on my cheeks. Try to do a little more, but um, not overdo it so that um, you know I don't lose what I've gained. And, um, yeah, so, so far, you know, if I've been able to sleep in bed, I've been able to, sometimes when I go to turn in the middle of the night, it does wake me up because if I lay in one position for a long time, I do get sore. But I have to say that I can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. 
and I don't feel like it's a train. So, okay, so this is what I'm going to put on right now. You can still see my dark spots peeking through, but um, it's not bad. I, I like it. I think for an everyday foundation, it's nice. It's, um, to me, it has like a matte finish. Um, I guess if, it's, if they do it for combination oily skin, it would be matte. But um, I usually put a lot of moisturizers underneath, so I was afraid to go with a glowy one since I'm not familiar with this foundation. It's like 9.30 in the morning, so I need coffee. All right, so I did get a, um, a concealer. The concealer I have used and I really, really like. This is new. This is uh, the uh, Revlon Photo Ready Color Correcting Pen. And I haven't used it, but I kind of pumped it up a little bit because sometimes it takes forever for the product to come up. So I did get it kind of ready for us. For us. Okay, you guys are doing this with me. Gosh, oh, it's coming out the other side. All right, so I'm just going to put, watch me drop some of this on my shirt too. Just going to put a little bit on my eyes. I'm going to speed through this because I don't want this video to be super long. Okay, so let's see how it looks with the, um, and I don't know if they have different shades in this. I don't believe so, but let me see if this, is, this has a shade on it. 030 is the shade, but I don't remember them showing, you know, another uh, shade on here. So, okay, and then I have the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C. 24-hour, 5-in-1 concealer correction. Oh, that's in another language. So what are the five things? 5-in-1. They erase, perfect, brighten, uh, hydrate, refresh, and conceals. All right, so this has like a little sponge applicator, which, wow, I look pretty white, don't I? Let me go correct my um, light really quick because it looks pretty bright. Hold on. All right, I was looking a little ghostly there. So anyway, this is in the shade 025. It doesn't have a name, just the shade name. I mean, the shade number. So I'm gonna put the mirror a little closer so I don't have to look down so much. There you go. When you have this, I'd rather have a clicky like the um, Maybelline Age Rewind because when you push, sometimes you get too much product out. Okay, I'm going to use their, um, this looks like a concealer brush to me, so I'm going to assume it is. I like this concealer. It's very nice. It does a good job of covering the dark circles. Um, I find it to be moisturizing. It doesn't, uh, you know, gather in my uh, fine lines. And, um, but I do, like I said, I do, I try to find, right now I'm using a Bobbi Brown, uh, eye cream because it's not very thick i like to use the more the thicker eye creams at night but during the day i try to go lightly and let it sit for about like i did my my skin here probably like half an hour ago because i was finding that i was having more smudging on my um on my under eyes when i was putting on my uh eye cream and then immediately going in with my makeup so and also the concealer so i just let it kind of sink in for a little bit this has nice coverage now my dark circles have been horrendous lately so i don't think there's a concealer out there that will cover 100 percent of them and if there is i haven't found them and i've tried all right so for powder uh, this is a new powder to me also. This is the Revlon Color Stay Blot Matte Setting Powder. Um, the only thing I don't have and I may need, so when I go get my, um, what is this? No. When I go get um, the wig, I'll get a setting spray, a dewy one, because it seems like everything that's going on my face is pretty much matte. So I'm going to use this uh I don't know if these things are named or all they have is a Sydney Grace. They don't have like the 
brush number but this will look good for under eye or highlighter so i'm going to use it for my under eye i do, do love the packaging i don't know if you can see but it has like a little tab i, I wish everyone would use this type of packaging because you don't get too much powder out after you're done you kind of close it and it keeps from having a powder mess so i'm going to put just a little bit i don't think i tried the powder i don't remember trying it so i'm just going to put very little and i didn't buy i know that they have some cream products but i think most people probably use powder products so i was trying to use something that um i thought you guys would use and i'm going to powder my um eyelid concentrating it more on the top and not so much on the actual lid so that that stays a little sticky for my um shimmer shades i find that that really helps with keeping the shimmer shade on longer so i'm going to go ahead and powder the rest of my face i'm going to use this brush right here and just a little bit god i still look super white well i know the sun is just super white but i don't think i can make my light any darker you're not going to be able to see me i don't know see like this it looks okay okay don't move all right so for bronzer and i have used this bronzer before this is the revlon skin lights and i've had this for a little bit i've used it a couple of times and i like it it's pretty it does have a glow to it so if you don't like a glowy bronzer this is not the one for you and this is like an angled brush but i do like um and especially for the summer i think that um you know when you're outside in the heat if your makeup is not melting you are going to look a little glowy so um i don't think you're going to be looking matte at all so i like this as you can see it doesn't really it's not like it has like any shimmer or anything like that so it's not going to come out like a disco ball but it's pretty i like it i put just a little bit on my forehead and it's one that you can build it's not this is in the shade 110 sunlit glow okay and then i have this blush right here this one is called 004 rosy rendezvous and i also have this one that is more of like a, a very neutral it looks pretty but i wanted to use something with a little more rosy in it today this one is 006 naughty nude so i'm going to use the same brush that i use for my bronzer okay i'm going to take the powder brush and kind of go over the whole thing Okay, I'm going to do the highlighter after I do my eyes. So these are the two uh, palettes that I have. I have this one here, which I have used, and it's very, very pretty. This one is called, and it tells you in the back how to use it. I don't go by that. I just use it how I want to use it. And this one is in the shade 530. They're all shimmer. But you can actually work with it i used this one with a fluffy brush on my crease and it looked fine so but i think they have several i bought the two that i like the most um and it it does come with a little the little uh sponge which i actually like for shimmer so this one look how pretty this is i have not used this one but i just wanted to create something just um i always say that i end up with much more than what i say so i'm going to take but i wanted to create just something more subtle and just like every day so i'm going to use the darkest color right now Okay, now I'm going to use this one. Um, let me see. 
I'm going to use it on the uh, center of my lid. I'm going to use a little sponge that comes with it. These are nice. Don't throw them away. They do a good job on the uh, with the shimmers. Okay, then I'm going to take this one right here and put it on my inner um, inner corner and kind of carry it a little over the pink, the light pink. This is a very neutral look, but I think it's pretty. I think it's still... Um, It looks very pretty. All right, I'm gonna take the brush that I was using, the brown. It doesn't really look shimmery. Okay, so I'm going to take a uh, let me see, hold on, I'm trying to find a little, this brush right here is one of those really thin ones that you can use like for your brows. I'm going to take the brown and put a little bit on my lower lash line. I really don't have any fallout. Um, I'm just going to do this because I'm used to it, but I have like no fallout whatsoever. So I'm going to take um, just, I don't know, I think I'm, I didn't, the only one I didn't use was this gold one here. Maybe I can, let me see if I can use it. I'm going to take this little sponge and I'm going to grab a little of it and I'm going to like put it in between the pink and the brown. Then I'm going to take the brush that I use for my brown shadow. I just, I didn't put any product on it. I want to keep this kind of uh, nice and light. Okay, I'm going to take a little more of the pink I put in the center and make sure that that's still there because it's very nice and bright and I like it. And then I'm going to take the gold and just so that I can say that I used all the shades. Okay, I'm going to take this tiny, tiny uh, brush right here. I don't know if you can see how tiny that is. And I'm going to take the, um, the one that I use on my inner corner. But I'm going to kind of wrap it around right here. Okay. Now... I think that's pretty. I think that's a simple look, uh, very natural, but you know, an everyday look, which is fine. You don't have to have all kinds of different things on all the time. For brows, I just got a brow gel and I already had this and I actually like it. And this is just called the Revlon Color Stay Brow Fiber Filler Brow Gel. And this mirror, this mirror, this brush, I don't know if you can tell, but it ha it's like, it has like a funny, it's got like a little comb on one side and then like a little brush bristles on the side. It's very tiny, which I love. I love for my, my brow gel uh, brushes to be tiny. But it's like um, the comb kind of like combs through your brows and then the other one kind of like deposits the, the gel. And this is dark enough because I'll tell you the shade in a second. That you can actually use it to extend your brow a little bit, like your your uh, tail. Okay. So now for mascara. I purchased this mascara a while back because I was curious. Actually, when it was released, and it's okay. It's um this is called the uh, Revlon. Everything is Revlon. Why do I keep saying Revlon? Okay, so fierce, big bad lash. Okay, it's an okay mascara. 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do one eye by itself and one eye with the um, primer. So you can tell the difference. I like it much better with a primer. It is a natural bristle brush and this is what it looks like. Um, it's not really hourglass. It's kind of like the same shape all the way through. I don't have a problem with the with a brush i just don't think it gives me like amazing brows um no lashes i haven't used it in a while maybe it got better so this is without primer and one coat i'm going to use the blink primer which is black and i really like it i think this one's almost dry though this is really nice actually in a in a pinch you can even wear this as a mascara if you don't have a mascara because it's really black so I'm gonna go with a second coat on my right eye actually looks better now maybe it was just one of those mascaras that they kind of have to dry out a little bit because that looks pretty good okay that looks pretty good it didn't look that good before so now let's go over the primer if i look with a uh, one coat of primer it looks just as good i would say as the one with two coats this primer is really, really good. There's several primers I like. The uh, one from Essence is amazing. I just pulled this one out. Okay, and since I'm going to be wearing this makeup all day, I did bring my, because um, I don't have a drugstore, um, how do you call that? To be mascara. So I brought out my uh, Thrive for my lower lashes. Okay, and the highlighter is also called Skin Lights. And this one is in 201 Daybreak Glimmer. Now this doesn't have any kind of, um, I don't like highlighters that have like glitter in them. Uh, so this doesn't, this is like, it's like a champagne gold. And um, it's nice, I like it. It's not too, too much. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this on my brow bone. So I'm going to take a small brush, this one right here. And I'm going to grab a little bit of it and just put it on my brow bone. Okay, now for lips. I have several choices i brought several i think i'm going to use this one because it's a new one um it's the uh, color stay matte life Mike matte light crayon so i think i'm going to use this one just because um it's one of the last things that they have released and um but i wanted to show you this these i, I checked to make sure they were still around and they are these are so beautiful so comfortable and they just look gorgeous i may put a little bit of it over this one because i really don't want a matte look because it looks like everything pretty much on my face is matte these are the this is in the color 760 i don't know what they call they're called no, just as new on there. So they're not new anymore. But I will list them below. These are gorgeous. And it's like, it's not um, a gloss. It is a lipstick. But look at how much they shine. And they're light on your lips. But your lips look so, so good with, these, uh, with this on. Maybe I'll put it on so you can see. And then I'll take it off and wear this one. How about that? So I'm going to do my um, liner, and this is in the shade Raisin. Okay, so let's go with this one on first. Okay, 
how pretty that is that is gorgeous and also if you just you can just fill your lips with the the um lip liner and go over with this and it's so pretty and they feel so comfortable they're not goopy they're just a beautiful beautiful shade so i have another one in another shade but i couldn't find it but anyways uh let me take this off my hand before i make a mess and get a clean wipe to take off my lips i thought i was out of wipes i was gonna say uh oh let me see if i can leave the the liner on that dry for a second this is in the shade i'll link it for you so it's, it's kind of it does have a sharpener in the back and it's like the maybelline matte ink crayons but i think the maybelline lasts longer than these but they are matte um I feel them on my lips. They don't dry me out. I don't think, you know, they feel uncomfortable. But you definitely feel like there's something on your lips. They're not sticky at all. Um, but I think I'm going to still put on a little bit of this on top. And these are the other shades that I brought out. I brought this one out, which is 610 Gold Pearl Plum, which is so pretty. and so i wasn't sure which one i was going to be in the mood for this one is 460 blushing moth which is this is such a beautiful beautiful pink it's really to me more pink than mauve but um yeah so i still think i'm going to put some of this on just gives it that pretty shine I think I'm gonna put a little more blush on I don't know I kind of look kind of looks a little washed out I think I'm gonna use my powder brush it's a very pretty pink Okay, I'm going to go put my wig on and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So um, I'm going to finish with a little bit of setting spray. And this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I don't have a setting spray by um, Revlon. And I really own way too many. To um, I really didn't want to purchase one just for the sake of the video. Because to tell you the truth, I don't always wear even setting spray. Um, I do sometimes, but not 100% of the time. But I just want to do it um, right now because this is hyd hydrating spray. And um, I'm gonna, I don't think I did two coats of mascara on my left eye. I'm going to try to do. I don't like to do it once without my lashes are totally dry because it doesn't always look nice. Oh, I, remember, I just remember I need to clean that up. Yeah, but the lashes look pretty good. So, not bad. Let me see if I can find a little brush that I have not used. Well, this one I used, but maybe I can wipe it. That will help me take that little smudge of, yep. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so this is a completed look. So the products, I'm going to tell you the products that I love. I love, 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 love. They're lipsticks. Oh, I did bring some perfume also to finish it off. And this is the Woody Sandalwood by Dossier. So finish the look with some beautiful perfume. So the products that, um, the foundation is nice. I've worn it before but um i just it, this is not well after i'm off i'm still look pretty pale 
so uh i think i need like a little darker shade but i have so many foundations right now that i don't think oh this has spf 15 also not that this i count this as my spf but and it does say it has a matte finish so okay but anyways um i think it's a little light but i am pretty light so i don't think it looks really weird on me i think it looks everything is white you know pale on me so anyway the foundation is nice i like it i like the finish uh, i think it has nice coverage you can definitely build it up and at the end of the day like i said i did wear this i wanted to test it and it was a nice one all right the corrector okay the corrector is okay i mean to me it didn't do a lot of correcting even though it was dark enough that it looked like it would but i i truly i should have done one eye with and one without because i think it would have looked the same because this is about what it looks like when I just use a concealer, which I do like very much. I've used this concealer several times before and I do like it very much. I think it, it looks beautiful under eyes. I don't think it accentuates any fine uh, lines that you have. And I really do enjoy it. This, I will probably skip it, especially if you have another one. Uh, to tell you the truth, I like the one by Pixi better than this. And the one by Pixi feels a little more emollient. Uh, which to me adds a little bit of moisture under your eye but uh, my favorite favorite one it's not a drugstore one it's the one by bobby brown and it's the one in the stick so that's the one i like the most i even like that one better than the charlotte tilbury which is pretty good so anyway this one to me you can skip it but that this i do like it very very much and my under eyes i would say they're not they're normal they're not oily they're not dry I do hydrate them a lot at night. Oh my gosh, I use like a serum and then I use like a very emollient eye cream all over my eyes, including the bone right here and in the middle. So um, I don't have really any 11s. As you can see, I don't have any lines in between my eyebrows, but I do hydrate and during the day, I just use a, li a, a lighter one. I use my Drunk Elephant, very little you know, all over my Drunk Elephant cream, but that I use it as a serum, then I use whatever eye cream at the moment. Right now I'm using the Bobbi Brown, which is not thick whatsoever. I put it on, I wait at least 15 minutes to go ahead with makeup. Um, all right, what else? I like the, oh my God, I have mascara all over my finger. Okay, I like the blush. I really do. I like the palettes. I think these are the best Revlon palettes that I have tried in the past. Uh, it's been a long time since I purchased any Revlon, so I can't speak for anything more recent. It's probably been years since I've tried it, but that's because I didn't like the formula. These are very buttery. Uh, they do create a very pretty subtle look if you want something that's bam. Maybe one of the other palettes have I can't remember what shades they have but these are the ones that appeal more to me to what I like to wear so they're both very nice I really love the purple look that I created with this one and I know I wore it on one of the videos um, that I posted recently but these are very very nice they're very pretty I can't remember how much they were I had them for a little bit um, when the first release but I I can't remember I do like the bronzer it's very subtle I like subtle bronzers I don't like the ones that are going to be bam in your face um I like the highlighter also um I don't I mean it's not anything that's like you have to run and get it either one of these if you already have a nice uh, bronzer that you like and a nice highlighter these are not a necessity but are they nice yes they're nice I've worn them before I like them very much I do reach for them so that tells you that I really do like them Okay, the blushes are very pretty. Um, they look more subtle in the um, in the package that they you know wear on your skin. I mean, this I think gave me a nice, pretty pink look. Um, this one is the rosewood, right? Rendezvous. No, what is it? Rosy Rendezvous. And it is pretty. Um, I'd rather have. I mean, I can work with either. if I have a very um, pigmented blush, I can work with it too. You just have to be gentle more gentle and this is the other one that i'll show you this is more of actually if you if you're really pale you can probably even use this one as a bronzer but um they both have they're not glowy but they're, they're not they're not matte either 
And this is the Rosie Rendawa, and this is the natural naughty nude. So, um, and it is a blush because it says it on here. It's not like I bought another bronzer and think it's a blush. Okay, so they're both pretty. Okay, I, I like this one. I've worn this one before. You can use this one on your eyes also, just like this one. I can, you know, I lipsticks. I love all of the different um, formulas of lipsticks. I love these. These are really, really pretty. I love the bullet lipsticks. They're amazing. Um, the one that I'm wearing today, did I put it back in here? Okay, the one that I'm wearing today, to me, um, I mean, if you want something that's going to last a little longer on your lips, it's fine. If you already have the Maybelline matte, or oh, the Maybelline ink, you know, the pencil thing, a crayon is similar. I think the Maybelline lasts a little longer on your lips, in my opinion, but, you know, that's just what... You know, this is the first time I used the um, the Colorstay eyeshadow primer. Now, this one, even though it looked a little beigey, I don't really think it gave me any coverage. Um, I think it looked my eyelids look pretty. I don't have a lot of red on my eyelids; they're just like a little dark, and they have like a little bit of ve uh, veining. But um, this eye is crying, and I don't know why it's getting watery. But anyway, um, I've never used it before, so I don't know how long this will keep you, your makeup on it's a pretty big tube so you know i don't know i have to get back to you on this one uh their lip liners i love i've owned many 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 lip liners from revlon and they're all amazing so and the primer i've used several several times i've owned this for a while now but anyway it's very very nice i really do enjoy this one but if you have another primer that does a good job with your pores let me see how my pores look yeah my pores look decent so but anyway they're super super nice the mascara looks nice i think you know it probably dried out a little bit because it's been a little bit since uh probably like a month maybe since i used it and um it looks good i mean it looks to me almost the same as the one with the primer so definitely i do like the mascara i think it's like i'm gonna use it now use it up i don't want it to go to waste so it's definitely a nice one. And I think that's all the products. Oh, the, oops, the powder. The powder, I think it doesn't look, make my under eyes look um, dry or cakey. So, um, yeah, I think it looks fine. So, and that's the main thing with me. If it looks dry or cakey under my eyes, then, mm. But no, it looks good. And I just put a little bit on the rest of my face. And right now, I mean, everything looks matte to me. <laughs> so, but I'll report back at, on a comment uh, how everything, you know, at the end of the day, how everything looked. So I definitely like it. Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this is what you wanted to see from me on, on the Revlon, full face of Revlon. I really like most of the products. I really did. I, I don't, you know, it's something that, Every, everything that I own here, I'm going to continue to use. All right, guys, I hope that you really enjoy this. I enjoyed doing it, and I love you, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah.